I gotta try it. No. Acne scars. If there's a pussy mountain of fun on my face, I'm gonna pick the shit out of it. The worst. And you're good. Go to bed. Hey guys, so you spend a ridiculous amount of money, a even more ridiculous amount of time, and an intense amount of effort, and you finally, finally get rid of your acne. And guess what? Acne scars. The worst. So I've been battling acne scars for about six months now, and I've made a significant improvement from what they were when I started, and I thought I'd make this video to show you the stuff I've been using that I have found super, super helpful. Everybody's heard it. The best way to prevent acne scars is to not pick your zits. Sorry, I can't do that. If I was gonna have one superpower, it would be to not pick my zits, because that shit is impossible. If there's a pussy mountain of fun on my face, I'm gonna pick the shit out of it. So I can't do that. So I <laughs> pop them as safely as possible, and then deal with the aftermath with a couple products that I have found to be super, super effective. So if you haven't seen how I cleared up my acne, Go check out that video, I'll link it below. It's a completely all-natural cure that might not work for everyone, but it made the most shocking difference in my skin. I battled acne for 10 years, incorporated this stuff, which I conveniently have right here, apple cider vinegar into my diet, and the results were amazing. So go check out that video, and then if you're battling acne scars, stay tuned. So there are two main types of acne scars. There's the textured ones that kind of leave like an ice pick, um, in your face. They're often found on the cheeks and then they're, re they're the results of like really big deep cystic acne. And then there are also hyperpigmentation acne scars which are more like a red or brown dot left where the zit was and they last a long time but they are much easier to treat. So I am lucky enough to have mostly hyperpigmentation. I do have like one or two minor minor um, textured scars but I'm very lucky to be only left with hyperpigmentation scars, right? Silver lining. And there are quite a few uh, different products out there, but I've narrowed it down to the four things that work for me. And two of them are completely natural. One of them is a tool and one of them is chemical ingredients. Okay, so the first thing I use to fight my acne scars is this. It's gr called green cream and it's a high potency retinol cream. Now it doesn't particularly have to be this brand, but I really like this brand because you can get it, on, get it off Amazon and without a prescription you can obtain a pretty high percentage of retinol. This one is the highest they sell. Um, it's around $55, which might seem like a lot, but this lasts me, I've had this for about four months already and I don't think I'm close to running out. More about retinol, retinol is a vitamin A derivative and what it does is help really produce collagen in your skin. So that smooths the surface and it makes your skin just like really nice and plump. It helps increase cell turnover as well. And you'll notice as soon as you start using this stuff, a side effect is that your skin will peel. It will shed for the first probably month, to be honest, until your skin adjusts to it. But it just really helps turn over the surface of your skin, keep it smooth and plump, and really improves the appearance of acne scars. The second product I use to treat my acne scars is actually apple cider vinegar, which is actually the miracle product that helps cure my acne in the first place. This is the shit right here. I am obsessed and I'll link the video below so you can go check it out. Get an idea for my story about I battled acne for 10 years. This stuff really helped me. And it also helps me um, handle my acne scar. And I just put it on a cotton ball, rub it all over my face. Apple cider vinegar has um, skin pH balancing properties. It doesn't dry out your skin, and it, but you feel it working. It's definitely doing something. And your skin feels so, so soft after you're done using it, and I have noticed that it lightens my scars. And to be honest, even if it wasn't effective on apple, on, on apple scars, <laughs> on acne scars, I would recommend this stuff just as a toner because it's so, it doesn't dry out your skin at all. It's kind of amazing because you think, like, it feels very harsh, so you'd think it would be similar to, like, an alcohol toner. Not at all. Your skin is like smooth as a baby's butt after. It's amazing. The third thing I use to fight my acne scars is actually a mask. And I have a video on my channel. It's called the do-it-yourself acne scar mask or something along those lines. Also linked in the description bar below. And it is a mixture of baking soda and lemon juice. And of all the treatments, this is the one that has the most immediate effective results. So if you're having like a really terrible skin day, your acne scars are just looking like inflamed and red and you're just bummed about it, do this mask 
and you will notice a difference as soon as you take it off. The lemon in it has bleaching properties and the baking soda is the best exfoliator ever and the combination is just miraculous. So that mask is the third thing that has really helped my acne scars. So I really wanted a Clarisonic and I still don't have one but I'm really tempted to splurge soon and get one. Um, they're just so freaking expensive. But So I found this at the drugstore and what this is is the Neutrogena Microdermabrasion System. But it comes with these pads that just stick to the head so you change these every single time you wash your face and you just um, buy the refillable microdermabrasion pads and then you turn it on and it just vibrates so it doesn't ro the head doesn't rotate or anything but it just vibrates and you just go all over your face and you don't need soap or anything because there's actually some sort of soap in the pad you just do this and you go all over your face and I find it really like gets the blood pumping in my face if you know what I mean and I think it's the vibrations in it that really like when I'm done my face is like a glowing red and like really warm feeling but in a good way I really like this and it's only $20 at the drugstore so compared to the like $250 Clarisonic or whatever it is um, this is a really good deal I do still want to try the Clarisonic though it's got to be worth the hype because literally everybody likes it and if something you know if everybody likes it and it's making that much of a difference for everyone I gotta try it yeah, but this is what I've been using for now and I actually really really enjoy it so I like to do this Oh, probably twice a week. It's, it could be a little intense for every day. So about twice a week, and it's just the best thing to do um, before bed. And then follow up with your retinol cream. I think I've said all I needed to say. Um, if you have acne scars, I feel for you. I am with you. They will go away, or they'll get better with time anyways. Um, and they are better than acne, right? You can cover them up easier, and they're less painful, and... Bleh. I don't know. Such is life, right? If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos as often as I possibly can, which is usually once or twice a week. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow my blog. I post things that are cool. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.